This lesson is part of the TI Inspire 6 CAS Technology Student course. In this lesson, we will learn how to create and use widgets. A widget is a custom made document in which we can enter our inputs and the TI Inspire will give us our desired outputs. Widgets can be particularly useful for assessments, including examinations, as they can save time when inputting a lot of values for multi-step problems. For example, this is a widget where we can input the coordinates of two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. And it calculates the gradients, the midpoints, distance, as well as the equation of the line through the two points. To use the widget, all we need to do is to change our inputs and the outputs will update automatically. We'll now look at how to make a widget similar to this one. This particular widget was made using a notes page. First, we'll need to open up a new document. And select add notes. We need to enter in a math box by pressing control M. We'll define the value of X1 using the assign command. And to enter in the assign command, we press control and the template button. And we'll assign X1 to be two just for now. And when we're finished with the math box, we press enter. We need to repeat this for Y1, X2 and Y2. So again, we'll enter in a value for Y1. So we'll assign Y1 in this case to be three. X2, we can assign to be six. And Y2, we will assign to be eight. Now that we have assigned the values to X1, Y1, X2, Y2, we can begin to use these values in calculations. Suppose we want to calculate the gradients. We can now enter our defined variables into the gradient formula. So we can access our variables by pressing the var button. And now we can enter in y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. If you want to use the gradient in another calculation, it would be a good idea to store that value. We'll assign m to be the value of the gradient. So to assign m, we need m and insert the assign command and press enter. A calculation that involves a few steps is finding the equation of a straight line through two points. We can use the formula y minus y1 equals m times, and we'll insert a bracket, x minus x1. We'll slightly modify this formula by adding y1 both sides and write it as y equal to m times x minus x1 plus y1. Normally we would need to work out the gradient, expand brackets and add light terms. However, by entering it like this in a notes page, we can perform all these calculations in one line. When making a widget, ideally we have the our inputs at the top of the page and our outputs at the bottom of the page. To help distinguish between inputs and outputs, it may be helpful to put a dashed line between them. To make this file as a widget, we need to save it as a widget. To save the document, we can press the dock button on the keypad, then select file and select save as. 
The key step here is that we must save the file in the My Widgets folder. This is what makes it a widget. We can name the file anything we want to. For example, we'll call our file linear. And once we're all happy, we can press enter to save. We'll now open up a new document and see how we can access our widget. If we want to insert a widget, we can select the add widget option. And there's our widget that we just made for linear. If we were already in a document, we can press the dot button, select insert, and then we can select widget from there. Notice how everything here is in blue. If we want to get this file working, we need to highlight everything by pressing Control A, and then press Menu, Actions, Evaluate. By doing this, this activates all the math boxes that we have in our document. So now, we can change our input to anything we like, and our outputs down below will update automatically. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.